How much insight do you have into the industry in America? There's nothing I can't find out. Yeah. You know why, isn't it? Yeah, of course, man. Jamaican. Why for that money? Isn't it? <laughs> I'm saying that 85% of active rappers don't have half a million dollars in the bank. I never let somebody get the last word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this guy. Man, like academic. Come on, man. What are you saying? How Yo, are you? Big act needs the UK, man. I had to come here, I had to do it right, man. What's good, man? First of all, what were you thinking of the UK since you've been here? Man, listen, I ain't gonna lie. It's kind of gloomy today, but I got off the plane. I said, Yo, I gotta make it over here because. Gotta go check out some kicks. I had to check in with you. What's popping though? Like, you know what I mean? That's I've love. seen a few things though. It's a little different vibe from the US. You know, I'm used to like that New York vibe, but there's a few places in London that's kind of like that, but then it's other places are different. I never thought I would ever make it here, but I'm finally here. So. You're here, you're here. Yeah. All right, since so British have you here, man, one of the biggest streamers definitely out there. Yeah. yeah. Where'd you want to go? What'd you want to see? I rock with my man Jesus Heavy. So anything that he produces, I know he produces gold. He probably produced the same thing that Jesus walked on like 55 BC. <laughs> so, you know, I always got to give that some type of preference. Yeah. I was a hater at first. I used to really think that I'm like, these just, yeah, I used to think it looked ugly. And then I, put, I put it on my feet and I realized I was walking on cloud nine, man. It was, what was the very first one that, it, it, but it came out with a, uh, he did it with Nike. No, oh, you're talking about the Nike Nike, Nike yeah, yeah, we got those, we're gonna get space those. boots. Them shit didn't look yeah, right, yeah. man. It looked like some Neil Armstrong shit. I couldn't rock with it, you know what I mean? I'm not the most stylistic motherfucker, so I like to keep it simple. Okay, you know? Okay. Also, I be telling people, listen, I like me and George, we don't get along. Just because I don't like Jordan. Like whoa, 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 That's why I'm over this side. That's blasphemous. Blasphemous. Whoa, nah, MJ, man. the yeah, GOAT. I didn't feel like he was showing the black people love, man. I just need the community to show us back some yeah, love. Yeah, yeah, but even if he didn't show it in person, yeah. how much did he inspire black people, though? How much did he inspire? Man, just he, from playing. Man, he'd be coming off like a white man in a black man body, man. I don't know, man. I'd be holding it personal with him. Now, I'm kind of getting over it now. I'm getting over it with him now. Okay, okay, You know what I mean? Maybe, actually, and I'm going to give you a fun fact. Go ahead. I've never in my life bought a pair of Jordans ever. My mom bought me one pair one time, I refused to wear it. And then also I was working at Everyday Struggle at Complex and they gifted me like some like exclusive pair. And I ain't gonna lie, I think they also gifted me the wrong size. So when I wore it, I was just like, man, I think Jordan fucked me up, man. I don't know. So maybe today. So you're holding a grudge? Definitely. I'm holding a grudge. Straight big grudge. Ye is like one of those people who like there's special rules applied to him. Like there's okay. a few people like that. Like with Dave Chappelle in comedy, he break all the rules. Yeah, facts. In reality, don't do what Dave Chappelle do if you're a comedian, you're going to get canceled. Yeah. Kanye is only one Kanye. And what happens with Kanye, he goes through this cycle, you know, is maybe not the healthiest, but we get tired of him because he says some real crazy, you know, stuff. crazy shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then he disappears and he says, hope y'all motherfuckers having fun without me. And it turns to like, now I want it back. He about yeah. to drop some new music, man. Like We're tied on her, innit? Yeah. Listen, he's one of the most creative minds, period. Uh, I think, you know, we've seen in many lifetimes. 100%. You know what I mean? Not just music, just culture, no, of course, period. of course. Like he sees, and, and let me tell you this. If you listen to a lot of the, you know, old school philosophers, they'll tell you that genius is usually tied to what people call crazy. Yeah, yeah, facts. He lives life. Yeah. You see, a lot of these celebrities, and I, I meet them all. I meet these guys who, who are really, they're, they're pretty much trapped in their celebrityhood. Yeah, they yeah. can't be themselves. They can't really do things they would normally want to do. They're just on like a, it's like a rat or a hamster on a wheel. Let me let me put you on there because you yeah. said like about celebrities, you meet them. Yeah, yeah. And like you said, they fall in these traps. Yeah, yeah. You're a celebrity now yourself. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. how do you now avoid these traps? Because you started as obviously like a streamer. Yeah, yeah. Didn't know these people talking about them being a fan of the culture yourself. Yeah, yeah. Now you're obviously you've got millions of followers yourself. Yeah. You're hanging around these people. How do you avoid those traps and stay true to yourself? I just don't in the sense of I don't, I don't hang around them. Like okay. it's impossible to be around the industry but not be corrupted by the industry. It's not yeah. a real place. It's a it's a place of just like smoke and mirrors and facades. Yeah. So that's why you hear some like you know I love reading some of the crit criticisms about me sometimes. They be like, yo, he ain't outside. Yeah, I'm not gonna go hang out with y'all in a fake place with none of y'all are friends. Mm. That y'all are all saying this is my twin in them. It's my brother. But in <laughs> they reality, love they love that one too. Yeah, you know what I mean. In reality, you know what I mean. Nigga gonna snitch on you. You gonna be locked up, and he gonna be out making fuck you. Like, like all this shit is fake. You know what I mean? So, 
For me, and this is what I like about even Dave Chappelle, like he dominates the industry of comedy, but he doesn't need feel the need to hang around in the industry. He lives yeah, in yeah, a farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when people say you don't come outside, it's like you're looking for me in the wrong place. Where you want to see me at? Or you want to see me at Diddy's pool party? Where all the dudes got their shirts just just doing chest bumps. I don't want to be there. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want to be I want to be my streaming room with my bottle of Henny. <laughs> you know what I mean? I want to be kicking it. You started off not yeah. being around these guys. Yeah, now yeah. you're around them. Yeah. Are you finding it harder? Because you've got other streamers like a Fantano yeah, yeah. or Sean C, yeah, yeah. who are not around these guys at all. Yeah, and they make it clear they're not around them yeah, so yeah. that they can critique their music in that way. How do you balance that though? There was a point where like, I used to give commentary and I never thought the people who I was talking about would ever see me. And it wasn't that, oh no, you're saying it because you know, you're more bold because they never see you. But I was never influenced. Put it like this, like if I make a video and say somebody's music isn't whatever, they gonna call me on the phone. Yo, act, what's up, man? Yo, pull up on me in Miami. I'm gonna place you some new shit. Yo, I'm gonna buy you a fly. Like, they're gonna do the most where now they're trying to influence your opinion. That's all it is. I met 100 rappers. Maybe like three of them I could say, like, I have somewhat of a friendship with. Hey. Well, 21 Savage, that's my guy. Okay, okay. Shout out to him. Y'all might not like this name, but 6ix9ine, that's my guy too. And let me see who else. I'm gonna just keep it at two, bro. You know, because as soon just as I- Just 21 and 6 9 Sorry. Yeah, you know why? Because a rapper will switch up on you. What about YB? Uh, let me tell you, I always tell people this about a rapper. Like a rapper, they view this whole music industry as only about them. Yeah. So like, no, what your job is don't matter. So if you're the photographer, you're a piece of shit to him. Like, no, every, everybody will serve them, their purpose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with him, I get like, I'm thinking that we're friends, but I guess I was serving his purpose at the time. The moment I had to do my job in the sense of like, he had an issue with another rapper, it was a little, a little oh, Dirk. Yeah, of course. Dirk had promised me an interview from way back. He started connecting me like, yo, just like, hey, let's do an interview, whatever. Mm -hmm. He took offense to it. You know what I mean? He, he felt like I was kind of picking Inside. another size. And, and okay. I'm like, yo, listen, if, a, if I'm the media guy, I'm not in y'all rap beef. You know what I mean? Like when y'all, these guys are rap beefing for money. Like they're getting millions of dollars because these labels are looking at them and saying, hey, you know, let me tell you, I don't care what nobody said about the music industry. The industry loves beef. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They love when it's a two horse race. It's him versus him. All the attention of the people without any music is gonna be focused on him versus him. You go back in the history of time, no matter what people say, of course, nobody wants to celebrate the death of Tupac and Biggie, but the labels were eaten. They don't got to do no promotion. The Facts. beef is a promotion. Facts. You know what I mean? Like Jay-Z and Nas, if you look at 50 Cent and Ja Rule, even if it didn't turn out well for one of them, it still was celebrated, you know what I mean, by mm -hmm. the labels because that's how they do it. So, uh, uh, like, the labels are winning off of it. When the labels are winning, the artists are getting more money off of it. I'm a media personality. It ain't my job to pick, I'm not on no teams with y'all like that. Facts. Even though you're my friend, of course, I would just make our friendship. But that don't mean I can't do my jobs. You know what I mean? So, you know, me and him, we got into it. Uh, you know, hopefully at some point we kind of reconcile because I still I still rock with him. You know, it's just that, you know, I gotta stand by the This ain't gonna help you then what I'm about to ask you. What? I'm gonna put you on the spot. Go ahead. If you had to choose, yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose music do you prefer? Dirk or YB? Well, that's actually a good one. I wanna see if you sit on the fence or not. No, no, I don't sit on, I don't do no offense in. I know um, you do. that's all I wanna know. If I'm if I'm ignorant, I'm really going with YB. If if if, if I wanna hear a lot more harmonic, a lot more like, I just feel like he's grown an artist. I would probably pick Dirk, but I don't, I don't want to do that where I'm giving both answers. I'd probably say YB right now, but I don't like the music YB making right now. I'm going to keep it being straight. Okay, In the okay. last year, like, I think yeah, last year or two, I think Dirk been doing amazing music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But overall, YB the type of person, he'll get me, like, I'm, I'm when I'm driving my sports car, like, I want to hear YB. See, I've got a couple of songs that I like from YB, but I don't, overall, I don't Who get you pick? it. Dirk. Dirk. It's not even close. Okay. I'm cool with Dirk, but I still only consider Dirk a friend. But even Dirk said to me, Dirk said, man, like, he, he didn't give me an interview or fuck with me just because he know I'm be like, oh, no, I'm going to just pick you up. No, I'm a real human being. I still like your music. Me yeah, picking somebody else don't mean I'm knocking you. You know what I mean? Facts, facts. Um, but yeah, you know, at least at this point, I would just probably say, young boy, unless you keep making the same type of music. I don't know what's going on in Utah. So, I don't know. Yeah, something it's in the world. It's my, it's my so, yeah, there. something in the world. Let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's yeah. move on this side. Come on. All right, we're here at the Jordan Wall. Even though you don't like oh, Jordan, man, but... this nigga Jordan, man. You're not having him. So you're a LeBron man. I do think LeBron better than Jordan. I'm tell you, man. Nah, like, if you, you, yo, yo. Let me tell you, something. I'm not one of the people who are lost in nostalgia, but uh, uh, me, I was more of a colorway guy when it comes to Jordan. You know what I mean? Okay, okay. Um, rather than like you know, the, whatever number with it, like anything, anything black and red was always me. You get what I mean? Like, like come, Jordan, on, come on. Come on, man. I ain't like, in a while. So and, I and I'm gonna be honest with you. This is just purely selfish. Just because yeah. 
I don't really know how to match shit. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm one of the yeah. niggas. I'm, I, I ain't going to cap and act like I'm one of the most stylistic type of people, period. I would just go with the easiest shit to match, which is usually, at least for a nigga like me, black or at least like black and red. That's usually the colors I wear the most. Okay, okay. If you had to give, and I know this is kind of difficult, yeah, yeah. people change them from time to time. But who would you say is your top three rappers of all time? Ooh, all time. All time. That's good. Uh, Drake number one. See, you gotta go with Drake. I'm a big Drake fan. The, don't but that's Drake controversial. Nah, it ain't controversial. In the last like seven years, yeah. like he's went on a run that he used to be in the conversation. Now he's undisputed. I, no, no, no. This way is with Drake for me because I love Drake. Who else is in the mix? What of all time? Yeah. Then we have to go to the legends. Jay Z, Nas. Nah. Nah, let, hey, listen. Rappers, bro. Yeah. All the time, yeah. rappers. Jay is definitely in the top three. But the reason why you can't put him number one is that Drake has outpaced him for way too long. My guy who I've not really been putting in top fives, but I've started revamping my top fives. Because okay, I usually okay. put Nas. Nas was always slotted to be like number oh, two. You're not going to slide my three. guy out. Are you going to slide my guy out? That's my guy. You're going to slide him out? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why, my guy, why, too. Why though? He's top five, though. Um... <laughs> Why though? Why are you sliding him out? Because I ain't gonna lie, like... Uh, be I, real, just be real. Nah, I can't give a good reason why I'm gonna slide out Nas. Like, <laughs> Nas my guy too. Nas to me is, is the GOAT, right? We talk about lyricism, pure, this is what I want to hear. pure art. Is, but also, I'm thinking about dominance. I'm thinking about hit-making ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm thinking sales. about adapting with the times. I'm thinking about um, sales, impact, influence, all that. The third person gotta be Lil Wayne. So it goes Drake. Drake, Hope, Jay-Z, Wayne. Wayne. Yes, that's what I'm gonna say right now. I might have a new list. I might have a new list in a month. It might change. It might change. But Drake ain't moving. Nah, Drake ain't moving. No, no, Drake undisputed is the number one. For all the dogs. For all the Talk dogs. To me. It's been out for like a month now. Well, you still got the same. How you feeling about it a month later? Uh, I, I was feeling like it was sounding a lot of mid when I first heard it. I have very high expectations for the goat. You know of what course, I mean? I'm talking course. about the Billy goat, not, oh, yeah. not, not the regular goat. We talking about the Billy goat. <laughs> I had real big expectations. I wasn't really feeling it to the level I thought it should be at. Yeah. I like to think that if we put everybody in the planet in one room, I'm one of the top three fans, like like on that level. You know what I mean? And <laughs> wait, wait. everybody know that. Come on now. Everybody know that. Come on. Yo, but but yeah, in the world, in the world, in the world. The reason why I said it was men is because like, and and, and this is what I said now it sounds way better. Yeah, it sounds, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna tell you the, the change. You see, as a fan that I am a Drake, I'm almost entitled. You know what I mean? I've, I've said this about people who've been listening to an artist for like 10, 15 years. We feel so entitled where we're like, you need to make this type of music, this type of song sound this type of way. Mm -hmm. Drake did something new. Like he was fucking with a lot of the new boys, you know what I mean? Like yeah, he was yeah. he was keeping up with the sounds and trends and e, you know your e. Now you get a, a older fan like me who's who's like you ain't do what I wanted. Mm -hmm. Now I'm upset. You know what I mean? So right, that's cool. That's cool. So, so, so that's what my initial reaction was like. That and to be honest, I was really upset until I really went back and listened to it. You gotta let an artist be an artist. I'm not the artist. I'm the fan at the end of the day. Yeah. No matter how much what people think, I'm the fan. So like I had to like put myself back in the place I should be at, receive the music, and I'm realizing. I'm not gonna say it's classic, but it's way better than I initially thought it was. Yeah, but that always happens with trade projects, though. Yeah, yeah. That's At the fact. beginning, you listen to the newer projects anyway, and then they grow over time. Yeah. But my problem is not even the fact that he's working with the new artists, because I know yeah. a lot of people have been saying that, Joe Budden, a lot of these like cultural pundits have been saying that. Mm -hmm. My thing is like, why do you keep making 23 track projects? Like even this project, yeah. Call the Dogs. Get it to 14, 15, people would have a much different reception to it. I think now he's just putting a bit of filler in there. I don't getting think the it's streaming filler. numbers up. I don't think it's filler. You gotta think about this particular project, right? He made it while he's on the road. Yeah. So he's on the road. Like I went to his concerts. Amazing. I talked to Drake like even during the thing, and he basically says he goes to sleep at 3 p.m. Yeah. Wakes up right before tour. Like tours will start, goes sound check, blah, 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 blah. Right? He does the show, hangs out afterwards, still is like doing other stuff tries to work on music in between in the late night time. Like it's so it's so hard for artists to be doing that much and still be creative. That's why I understand why he's making a 23 track album. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I don't think we'll ever get like a short project for him on, unless he could like really, really like allow the music to, he gotta be in an open we space. Need it. We need it. Now it's not gonna happen. We need I don't it. think we'll get that soon from him. If Most, you were in this show too late, it was like 17 No, no, times. but we're, we're not going to get that from him until he locks in. And I think because of the new record deal he's on, he's in a hectic pace. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think the fans force him to take a, a year off. He's about to take oh. a year off. I think the fans is like, yo, what's up? 
Yeah. He's about to take a year off, but not by choice. If you ask me, he was trying to drop like NBA young boy. Every I four months. Yeah, the deal. Yeah, every four months, another one. Heavy hit who? Mm. It's for the big boys. You call yourself Big Ack? I won't call you Big Ack. Pause. Come on, man. But big yeah. Ack, man. Nah, that's a that's one. That's one. That's one. That's, that's, that's a why. That's a why. Nah, man. You know what why is, isn't it? Yeah, of course, man. Jamaican. Why for that money? Is it? Right? <laughs> nah, man. But, but, but like, nah, listen, listen. Hey, let me tell you this. No, no, the Big Ack, the, the Big Ack moniker. Yeah. It ain't got nothing to do with no no why type of oh, thing. Oh, we know. Pause. We know. It's it's, it's it's the ultimate confidence for any human being. So you know what I mean. You know, after a while, when you tired of people playing around with your name, man, you gotta let people know. You know, like you add big to your name. It's fine. Big Mitch. <laughs> big Mitch. You know what I mean? Saying? Big Mitch. They, 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 yo, they keep playing. They keep keep playing you out and keep calling you Jason Tatum, the beta version. I mean, you got to Yo, Big Mitch, man. You have a couple ups in the game. A couple ups here and there. You know, you get into online beefs with people. I don't got no issue with you. Like some people got, some people think they got issues with me, but I don't got no issues with But we know, we know why you've been in the headlines recently because you've been what? beefing someone in particular. Who? You say the name. It's crazy, bro. It's a crazy. Say the name. Saucy Santana. <laughs> That's the first online situation. That's in my yo. I started getting them eight seven six calls on my phone. If you know Eric, code that is as Jamaican. They say, yo, yo, what are you doing out here? Because me, I never let somebody get the last word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then this guy. But see, when you were crying, was that real? No, everything's real on stream. Was that real? Yeah, man. It wasn't for like theatrics. And... No, no, I don't do theatrics. So it got to you that much that you felt like. Yeah, because it was the first time I think like put like this. This was the first person, and this is why this is why I, I, I came to tears. It's the first time I'm dealing with somebody that I felt like my hand was tied behind my back, like I couldn't really. I felt like he was playing with rules that I couldn't play with. Yeah. And I'm like, yo, this person is trying to. It was, it was, I feel like he was trying to bait me to get canceled. Some people still think I'm in like my feelings about it. I don't really care about it afterwards, but that day I'm like, yo, cause usually I, when I get on that live stream, let me tell you, that's why my live stream works. I'm authentic, I'm me. I mean, I've cried when music come out. So <laughs> little Uzi Vert dropped Love Is Rage 2, I cried tears. I couldn't believe it. But Uzi! The music was so good. I couldn't believe it. I'm sorry. I'm a human, I'm real. Let's come to the original Yeezys. Mm. The ones you were talking about before. Yeah, man. Them shit look like some spaceship boots, man. I, I couldn't really fuck with those on Look Alone, but that's when I was thinking about a sneaker was only about how it looked. Like nowadays when it comes to Yeezys, like there's some of the Yeezys I rock, even some of them slide shits, them shits look ugly, but they feel comfortable. Yeah, they all comfortable. And I want them niggas, I got like a fat foot, bro. Like my shit, like I walk like a <laughs> duck type shit, you feel me? So it's like, I can't be having them little narrow, sh narrow shoes if I'm on a flight. If I'm driving, I gotta take them shoes off and like, like every, if I'm driving over an hour. So yeah. I nice, I like something that's real nice and comfortable, make it feel like I'm walking on clouds. That's where I realized where Yeezy's coming for me. Did you like what Virgil was doing when he was over at night? Rest in peace, obviously, to the god Virgil. Yeah, Virgil has a special talent. Any type of collab fights yeah. now. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest with you. I was, I was, I was saying right before we started, I got five pair of these. You know what I mean? Like I just wear it till the same colors, same thing. What, like you just bought five of the yeah. same one. And my, and my girl was just like, yo, listen, you done wore out the last one already. Plug it in. I used to do that with Air Forces. Like my mom. Yeah, my, my mom, Air Forces is Air Forces. Yeah, but these are treat them just like it, man. I'm not Jesus. a style guy like that, bro. That just means you got bread. You well, got bread out here. I just, I'm trying to get the sponsors by here. We got to get Ooh. a boy. Oh, we got to get a shot together. Come yeah, on, no, come on. Let's have a shot. Let's have a shot. Because obviously they call you Henny Demix. You, you gotta get crazy. the live streaming game, man. You gotta be, nah. You, see the, you gotta watch the IRL streaming. Like, it, 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 it looks great these what's, days. What's IRL? Yo, people walking around, like, you can be walking around this plaza right here, just like streaming your regular life. People wanna see people, like, you know, uh, uh, just interact with each other. I think these days, everyone is so much into their phones yeah. just to see people have regular conversations. Even what they're watching right now on content, people like it, man. All right, let me ask you about this. I feel like. In the modern day today, mm. streamers and YouTubers are like the new rock stars. Of course. What's your thoughts on that? Because I, honestly, when I was coming up, if you saw a rapper or an athlete as a young kid, you would go mad. Yeah. Now, rappers and athletes could be walking alongside a streamer, whether it's someone like yourself, Kai Sennett, Kai Mr. Beast, level. Yeah. and they lose their KSI. Yeah. And they lose their minds. Yeah, no, of course. Would you would you say that's true that they are the new rock stars now? Hey, no, it is absolutely ridiculous. Wait, wait, are we doing a shot? Yeah, come on, let's no, do a, a shot real quick. No, come on, it's, it's, oh, you hey. want one more? I got you. Yeah. No, whoa, 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 not them American shots, guys. We know in, in That's England, not a shot? Just... Come on. This is like, this is a... Yeah, oh, Henny, good. I don't show Henny, guys. Come on, man. All right, let's go to Saloon. Listen, man, you'll know you got there 
When you take a shot, you don't even make a face. For real. Uh-huh. You know, you know you got to the point I'm at when you take the shot, you don't even make a face. This guy took his Bruh. jacket off. <laughs> this guy's sweating. Bruh. Bruh. I go oh, quick. Whoa. Let me, let me tell you this, man. I feel good, though. Jason Taylor. I don't know what I Oh, shit. Let's go. Oh, sh- okay. We're academics oh, in now the we, building. Now we're about to get an interview. Whoa. Now you can ask me whatever you Whoa. want. Whoa. You see, you take two shots for me, anything you can ask me. I'll give you the real. Come on. Let's go. Now you're gonna get the content, you see? All you gotta do is drink with a nigga, man. That's all right, Are we doing this? Yo, come on. All right, go. What's up, what's up? Oh, bro. All right, let me tell you something. See, when it comes to shotting, I do tequila. I'm a tequila, man. You're a tequila guy. I'm a tequila guy. Tequila goes down to Casamigos. Casamigos. Clancy's Don Julio. Yeah, yeah, 1942. That's okay, my okay. bag, oh, this. Got, oh, oh, wait, you got that money too then, that 1942. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, nah, we're not. Listen, you're the one that's got jewels on. Hey. That's your bag. This right here, it's too much, bro. This has killed people in hoods all over the world. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> this is, and, this and is I always tell people, like, yo, you got to know what type of drinker you are. You know, there's like four different types of drinkers. You got a sleepy drinker, they drink, they pass out. Yeah. The one who cries about their ex-boyfriend or their, their ex-girlfriend, and they go and call them on some drink and drive shit. Yeah. You got the third one, they're fighting. Like, they, they never wanted to fight before, but them alcohol muscles is real. Mm. And then the other one is just... They just do dumb shit, you know what I mean? But they're no pro- nobody's problem. So obviously, he, this year has been a mad year. 2023, I think, has been a mad year. Would you agree? So many crazy nah, things happened. It's been a real mad year. But one of the craziest things this year was watching Adam22 allow this porn star to bang his wife on camera. His actual wife. Wife of that, man. Yo, hey, let me ask you a What question. was your thoughts on that? Like, well, well, I got I, Like, you know, let me tell you this. So I'm coming from a, a, a perspective of, you know, I, you know, Obviously American, but like I was born in Jamaica, so I'm a Jamaican. I got a little different morals and values. That's why I was talking about that sauce. I'm half Jamaican. Thing. Oh really? Yeah, come on, man. Uh, yeah, I'm born in Spanish. Thomas, you know what? So like, it's all day. Like, Shout out to Thomas. Like certain shit, certain shit is like, like it baffles me. I can't even believe it. Like no money, no money on earth yeah. could make me do the, such a thing. You get what I mean? I just chalked it up to white people shit. You know what I mean? That's why people do that type of shit. Like, y'all got a lot of white, white people out here. They probably into that type of shit. My mom's white. Well, you know, I hate you. No, for real, no, that's white people shit. Like, I can't, I can't, I mean, let me, let me tell you this. I, I couldn't wrap my head around it. I talked to him so much because, you know, me and him, we two media leaders in the game. And I said, I said, bro, we're in the same league. We're in the same division. We're in the same ranking. I know how much I'm getting just doing it the right way. How much money could you need that you got to get your chick? Piped out. Like, I, I couldn't understand it. You know what I mean? Bro. At that point, it, it can't be the money. You know what I mean? It's like. So, what is it? That's some kinks. Like, you know, I'm, I'm gonna keep it light because I still his wife at the end of the day. Yeah. But he admitted it on the show. He said, when he first met her, he had like a, like, he called it a threesome, but niggas don't call it that. We call it a train. Two men on one Battery. girl. Battery. That's what we call it. Battery. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, Battery. Yeah. yeah. So, Quickly. So that's pretty much what happened with um with her. So you know what I mean? Obviously, they were sexually explored it from the get go. I'm not gonna be mad at them keep doing that because that's white people shit. I can't wrap my head around it. Nah, but it's not white people shit. It's nah, just it's them. Nah, shit, it's them. Because there's people. white people that won't do that. Well, there's white people that well, won't let someone bang their well, wife. Well, well, listen, listen. Give me a better example. Give me a better reason why. Because I'm telling you, it can't be for money. I think every the I shit. Know, I just think it's them. The shit was sold to the public like it was for money, and I'm telling you that it can't be for money. Like I know for a fact it can't be for money, because given what he makes and given what that made. It would be like, okay, it's like saying, would you do some, you know what I mean, some real new white shit if you just doubles your pay? You'd be like, no, right? Uh-huh. I would hope, right? It's not like th- that's like life changing money for it. Mm. You know what I mean? So it's like you, you gotta enjoy it at a certain point. And by the way, here's the thing. Maybe on a one off type of thing, because you know he's been screwing a lot of girls and his whatever, but now they like he just told me, he said they have a reality show, they're they're doing raffle tickets for the next nigga to fuck her. You could get in on that. Whoa, what what? Yeah, you me? I'm si- yo, you ain't seen on the blogs? <laughs> no, nah, no. Nah, they doing a reality show contest, man. Yeah, yeah. I'm Bro. not trying. To, I don't want none of those tickets. Hey, they let me tell you this, man. There. That's weird. I don't know if y'all have these type of things, like you know, in the UK, but America is like a real wild place, man. Like anything is possible, man. Like no, America's mad. We be over here looking at America, like is this real? Yeah, yo, that's why I even had to ask you. I'll be real. That's why I had to ask you. I didn't know, like, when when you was crying over that thing, if it was real. No, no, that, I don't that know was if you was real. just maybe trying to like play up to it. And hey, hey, let me tell you this. You see, when I'm off this Hennessy and you put a camera in front of me, yeah. it's therapy for me. Oh, that's have, why, a, have another shot, cuz. Have another shot. Yeah, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm not gonna, but you can. No, no, you, we could both. No, do. whoa, I ain't going. I ain't going for days. I ain't going Before you get that crying, you will. It's gonna take two bottles. You're gonna be passed out. 
Yeah, definitely. I drink this shit like water. How? How? I'm bro? It's forty percent. You know what forty percent is? I've been drinking since college, man. You know, it's still third one. Okay, I like that. You better ask some more questions. I'm cut. What? I'm ready. All right, all right, obviously you're making big paper. I can see it. The rest is crazy. I don't know about Next that. Next crazy. Man. I can Whoa. see. It. Hey. No, don't play it down. <laughs> I've seen you embarrassing rappers on the stream, saying I make more money than all of you. <laughs> we heard what Drake said on his foot. Hold on, hold on. All right, you want me to clarify that real quick? No, a lot of these rappers are broke, and I've seen it, and I know it. No, 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 no what no, rappers no. though? Like, what? No, don't say yeah, names, but I what level know. of rappers? Drake one time said it's really like one percent or like ten percent of us really getting money. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. And, one, yeah. and what I'm saying that is like this again. When I mean broke, I'm not saying that they're homeless, but there's a lot of rappers who they're they're putting on a lifestyle that they're not living. Yeah. Like for example, I would probably say this is just me. I'm saying that 85% of active rappers don't have half a million dollars in the bank. Now, half, half a million. million dollars is a lot of money. It is, yeah. But when you hear about these rapper lifestyles, they're talking about they're always buying a new car, G6. Yo, they're yo they're flying private. Most of these guys they don't got no savings. They don't have nothing going on. You get what I mean? Their cars are rented, the houses are leased, and actually most of the stuff you think that they got motion with their record labels paying for, but they're never going to get paid from the record label because the record label got them going in debt. They can never be a big enough record. They fall off eventually. So they're living like a lifestyle to keep it going, but they never really cash out. It's yeah. really the guys at the top that do. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying, I ain't talking about the J. Coles, 21 Savages, the little babies. Oh, no, they're, up, they're, up. they're really up. But a lot of these guys, you know, rap has always been about smoke and mirrors. Like, you know what I mean? My job in the industry is to pull the veil down because as a fan, we sit down and we look at some of these guys and we say, oh, that's the biggest killer because he rapped about killing everybody in his hood. He says he has the most money. He bought everybody. But that's not the reality. Yeah. When I give them the reality check and, I, and I'm selective on who I do it to, you usually see the humbleness come down because yeah. the cap could only last so long. You feel me? All right, let me ask you something. What do you think separates you from like, let's say the Breakfast Club will sit there. Yeah. Big radio station, uh -huh. obviously certified in the mainstream, mm -hmm. and they'll sit around and they'll do things like rumor report and they'll yeah. chat about people, their business, no one says anything. But then some people will see you sitting around, streaming, talking about what's going on, the same sort of thing, and then people will be like, oh, you like to chat, he's just a chatty guy. Why do you think there's a difference in that? Because with all due respect, I love The Breakfast Club. They know how to play it right, in the sense of, you know, me, I keep saying my boss is the audience. So for example, if I know what happened out there and I know what's happening behind the industry Don't and, have a boss. And, and I know that, yo, listen, well, really, everybody think y'all cool, but y'all beefing, but you sent your man to rob him and you owe him $55,000. I'm going to put that out there because it's known in the industry. But here's the thing. The Breakfast Club is going to like, they're going to play almost willfully ignorant yeah. to serve it up almost to where the public needs to know, but the industry don't get mad. Anytime you see these guys get mad at me, it's because they're saying, you're saying too much. Why are you exposing mm. this shit? Everybody, yeah, everybody talks about the story, but they don't say as much as you say. How much insight do you have into the industry in America? There's nothing I can't find out. So there are lots of things you know that you've not even put out hey, into the, the... The biggest labels in the world, yeah. their executives, they call me on the phone and they watch my videos. Most of the times when I'm telling shit, it's like- I, I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't give names out. Yeah, but of like, course. There's a lot of information they're telling me- So you holding a lot of secrets? Of course. And that's why I, that's why I told more shit. Because if, the sh if you think that I'm really giving up all the cards, then I had to hold a couple back that in case y'all really go bad on me, right? Because if I played all my cards, then y'all could done me anytime. I hear it. I always have a couple of cards that I, and, and I usually, uh, you, you'll hear it when I'm saying like, yo, listen, like with Glorilla. Glorilla started talking crazy. I said, Glorilla, you know I'm in your budget, right? Like, that's that's to let her know, stop playing. Just, just stop playing. We can now have a different talk. Oh, let, me, well, let me ask you this, since you're on this. And you don't have to answer it, but I'd like you to answer it. I took the shots. It's only fair. Oh, man. It's only fair. Okay. What is the most yeah, yeah. you've been paid for an Instagram post? Tens of thousands. Um, okay. The, the, the most that I turned down and I regret it. But back then, I didn't view the game how I viewed it now. Mm -hmm. I view the game and I tell everybody now, like, yeah, I'm very open with it. I'm on some Robin Hood shit. Like, I don't even like working with, like, no disrespect to independent artists, but them label budgets, them shits just go to somewhere and they write it off. Yeah. Bring it to me. I you know what it, I mean? I now, I'm, and I'm sure there's so much bigger in America than there. There was one so. time there was like, 
there was a, it was like sixty thousand yeah. dollars. I got offered for some shit. This is before I ever did anything though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I remember like I was sitting there battling my integrity. Oh, and him once, it was and my the integrity morals. and my pride was just probably more than my bank account. And I look back at it now, and I'm like, man, I should have took that shit. But what? No, cool. but the fact that you look cool, you don't know. You don't need to say that. Yeah, no, 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 of course. But, but, but hear what I'm saying, though. Like the sports analysts, when they talk about music, how could you, or talk about sports, how could you talk about sports and never play the game? So you know what I did? Not I made an artist. Yeah, I remember. I went and got signed. I dropped records that I could know exactly what the fuck you're doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get what I mean? And at that point, I realized I was like, oh, okay. This is what's going on. Now I, it armed me with way more information that I need to debate any point. Any UK artists yeah. that you're fucking with? No, of course, yo. I got to salute to my boy Central C, man. Of course, Central C's killing it. I just told him. I told him today. I told him I'm here. He said. What did he say? He said he coming back tomorrow. So I'm supposed to be linking with him. Are you gonna tomorrow. link with him? Yeah. Yeah. yeah it's my, Are you gonna my get guy. content or are you just linking up just central? Yo, well, really, like you know, actually, I was supposed Shout to do, so I was supposed to do a podcast with him back in New York before, yeah. and I'm gonna tell you, I like I like his vibe because. On his first, on the first link, because I had a podcast lot, and he said, "Yo, now nah, I want you to come link with me. Mm. I don't want to just come do the pod first. You know what I mean? And you know, while you're out here, I just want to come link with him. You know what I mean? He said, "Yo, anything I need out here, he got me." But you know, fuck with Central C, I fuck with Dave. Dave, Dave is one of those guys Dave's who cold. I think he made a lot of people internationally look differently at UK rap. Ooh, you know what I mean? What you mean? They started viewing the lyricism here on a deeper level. Where it was like uh, knowledge and bars and, and, and shit that was clever yeah. more than just like something to rhyme over a beat. You get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm fucking with Diggy D still. You know? Shout out to Diggo. Yeah. Of course. Uh, you know, Skepta always been been a nigga who I've been okay, tapped so you to. Know, you know your UK music. Hey, man, I'm, listen. You're tapped in. Hey, you, you want to talk about it more, though? I want you to talk about it more, though, yeah, on yeah. the streets. No, no, no. Obviously, I know your well, whole audience is probably mostly American. Well, I ain't going to lie to you. And also, like, while I'm out here, I got to make I gotta make men's with, with gigs, man. Me and gigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Gigs was mad at me. Oh, man. The when, landlord. No, no, why? No, why? Nah, why? no, he was mad. Yo, listen, I think he had been at me for like three years. I know he had been. I think he had been at me for three years. I'm going to tell you what happened. So Drake had dropped more life. Yeah. You know, I told you. I'm the top three Drake fan of all time, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So I'm hearing this shit, I'm going crazy. I'm like, I'm, I'm off the handy, I'm frost. And all of a sudden, <laughs> yo, it's KMT on, on, I'm like, yo, cause Drake had previewed the song and it was like slapping, I'm Legendary like, oh song. shit. And then all of a sudden, when I think Drake about to come on for the second verse, I, I didn't hear Drake. And I ain't gonna lie, but I was kicked my heart though. No, but, but, listen, that dirty, dirty, but, 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 but then I tell you, sometimes I can't, oh, I think it's giving ad lives in the back. Come on, John. That's, that's, that's KMT. But I didn't give him, the, I, I didn't give him a shot. And by the way, I okay, seen okay. the, you know, I'm gonna tell you why I knew I was hating a little bit. Yeah. Cause I seen the videos of the reaction to when that shit got dropped here. And everyone like, was getting like, no more crazy. crazy. His verse. Yeah. I'm such a Drake fan. I've cussed out niggas like Young Thug for being on songs with him. Nah, uh, no, yo, Thug. Yo, I did Yachty podcast and Yachty like I was telling Yachty I was like I cussed out Yachty for even encouraging Drake to wear a painting listen I'm a Drake top three fan bro of all time you feel me so I kind of feel bad about that but Giggs I love you no well, we can get a squash nah, it's on, been man. time now like, actually Presser, know, Giggs is the guy Presser put me on the phone with him yeah okay, okay. yeah Presser put me on the phone with him Shots, but yeah you know what I mean Shots, let me tell you this I'm, I'm, I'm one person who I'm so happy about the current state of music because I've always you know I'm from Jamaica yeah moved to the U.S. And then I love connect. I love music from from Canada, and I love UK music. You know why? Yeah. There's more cultural little feel to it. Hey, you with know, the Caribbean influence. More exactly. Than so yeah. I've always fucked with it, and now that I feel like music has become a little bit more globalized, mm. and even when we touch down to the Afrobeats, oh, like, Afrobeats hard, of course. Of course but they're robbing out the Bashman tick though. Oh man, we were running tickets for a minute, and now it's like, <laughs> nah, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, I get it, I get it, but I get it. You're here for a show, yeah, with Castillo. Yeah, of course. How did that come about? Yo, let me tell you. Uh, Castillo is just, uh, I think, just a mad man. Still, Have you spoken yeah? to him before, yeah? No, of course. Okay, of course. Okay, but okay. before I even spoke to him, I remember I played this stuff on my stream and I said, yo, I have been watching this shit and like, you know when you laughing so much, you yeah, holding yeah, your gut? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, nah, this guy is hilarious. Yo, we about to go do something live together in the UK. I've never been in the UK. I've never been to Europe, period. Yeah. I said, yo, book the flight, man. Let me get here. So, Crazy. yo, it's going to be, let me tell you, it's, it's going to be one time only. It's gonna be a once in a lifetime event. Me, Castillo, we about to go crazy. I know, I told him he, he gotta come with it, cause I'm gonna come with it. Before I let you wrap it up, yeah. get your kicks, hit the cash register. There's just one more thing I wanna ask you. I have to ask you this. No. You covered a lot this year. 
Victoria Meg, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that Dustin settled and it's all done, do you though? think he did it? Yo, whose camera are we talking to? I'm, I'm gonna give you the exclusive right now. This one. I talked to Tori two days ago, you know what I mean? He's chilling, you know what I mean? Doing a good, he, he's doing his bit. Am I getting calls? Come on, man. It's keeping his head up high. You know that situation. We will still figure out exactly what happened. I don't know exactly what happened, but you know what? I just feel like maybe all the, the truth and the facts haven't been revealed. I'm not saying who's innocent, who's guilty. I'm just saying we, we could still have a more conversation about it, but I stay with my man Tori. But I'm not against Meg though, you know? Meg, we love you. You like Cobra? You like that new song? Shit was trash, but <laughs> You know, uh, Meg, you know what I mean? Come back for the next one, your big guy gonna fuck uh, with it. You know what I mean? Hey, listen, listen. I'm not gonna this. lie, I want Meg here. Meg, I no, think no, so fine. Way, I also the said, song, she, but the song is, I don't like this song. Yeah, she finna go crazy though, if she do the right thing. Like, and I give everybody good advice. Yo, you gotta speak about your experiences. No more twerking on your tippy toes. Nobody wanna hear about that, how you ride a dick. That, that's a dub. Tell people how you felt after you thought the five for two leprechaun shot you, which you, which you might be incorrect, but give the real story, man, okay? Give your point of view. We love you. We love black women. That's the thing. I don't like when people say like, yo, we, we love black women, man. We want to see you good. They've been trying to get you on Twitter for that. Yeah, yeah. I know they've been trying to they've get you. Nah, we, we love Meg, you know what I mean? So listen, we can live in a world that exists where, you know what I mean, again, you don't have to be anti this to be pro this. So, you know, Meg, hold your head. Tori, hold your head. And, you know what I mean? I'm glad everybody's healing from that situation. I hear it. All right. I can admit it's been an absolute pleasure, my guy. Come on, my dog. Pick your kicks, hit the cash register, and we're out. Yeah, come on, let's get it. All right, let me see how this is going to look, man. Uh, how's your experience at like Kick It's a movie. movie. Do you want to see your turtle? All right, let me see what it's looking like. Your turtle is. That's it? <laughs> oh, no. Come on, man. That's it. I thought it'd be more. Come on, let's run that up, man. Let's go. Just some more of it. Come on, man. Let's go. Look the waste, man. Another light day. Another day in the morning, man. Let me see what I'm gonna get to tomorrow. Holy.